And I missed the Teleferro TV. How's everybody doing out there? I wanted to give an update on a story that happened late last night. Kodak Black was in the mix of something. Now, the something that he was involved in, we don't know. He's out on the West Coast in Hollywood, California, uh, at this club called Playhouse Nightclub. And Kodak and his crew got into some altercation, all right? Now, I don't know if Kodak specifically threw some blows, but apparently a fight blew, uh, broke out. And police were called to the scene. They squashed it. But there is a video circulating around of Kodak Black being arrested, right? Or detained, rather. And I want to clear that up. Kodak Black was not arrested. He was not taken in. Um, they let Kodak Black go shortly after the, um, the incident. They just wanted to calm him down. Somebody from the incident, I did get in contact with someone. One person said Kodak Black really wasn't involved like that. Then I talked to someone else and they was like, yo, they the, the cops arrested Kodak to stop him from himself. Might have had a little bit to drink, you know, and they said he was kind of like spazzing out. I don't know if either of those stories are true. Maybe the truth is somewhere in between. Again, I just wanted to make some clear to you guys. Kodak Black won't face any charges uh yeah i think he's fine i don't know if anybody else got arrested from the team in the situation yo the most ironic thing in kodak's life is every time this nigga's about to drop an album he gets arrested i think kodak's about to drop an album first quarter 2019 his album is close like it's done atlantic's already moving that thing around they already got the single he's about to drop the next video i think he's gonna drop early 2019 right so every time kodak drops an album like the painting pictures ones it's dope music, but he's never out to promote it. So I'm like, damn, I'm thinking when I seen the video this morning, I'm like, yo, this nigga got arrested again when it's album time. He can't make Atlantic Records any goddamn money. Every time he's about to make them some money, he get arrested. Thank goodness that's not the case. He was detained. Kodak, stay your ass out of nightclubs, bro. Let this album come out so you can do press and you can uh, promote this project to the best of your abilities. Because Kodak, with all the internet success that Kodak Black has, I will say this, talking from somebody who would know, he does need to put a decent number on the board because his label and people around in the rap communities are starting to look at him funny. They're like, yo, damn Kodak, you one of these new rappers who do a lot of streams. Him, NBA Youngboy, a few other artists, Y'all do a lot of streams. Post Malone does a lot of streams, but Post Malone translate those over into great album sales. I think Post Malone had top five sales first week for a hip hop artist this year. We need you and NBA Youngboy artists like y'all to translate that over first week sales, right? Cause they just dropped so much music. A lot of these labels and executives, they starting to look at Kodak like, yo, you could do big numbers on your music, but are your fans to the point where they're so trained, they get your music through YouTube and all these free platforms and they refuse to like listen to it on streaming outlets or actually purchase the music. So Kodak does need a big number. He spent a, a good portion of the last couple of years behind bars or on like a house arrest. This is his opportunity. Got the big record with Bruno Mars and Gucci. This is his moment to potentially go for 75 to 100K first week. I, I think that'll be a comfortable spot for him if he can uh, get a number like that first week. I will for sure keep you guys up to date on any situation revolving Kodak Black and others in the next couple weeks. I'll let y'all know when this album's gonna drop. I gotta believe it's probably dropping first, second week in January though. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Project Baby is not behind bars. He uh, was just detained, not arrested. I'm out. Christmas just ain't Christmas without the one you love. Oh, yo, where y'all come from? What's going on? It's yours truly, Vince the Delaferro, and it is the holiday season, and I'm in the giving mood. To be honest with y'all, y'all gave me over 60 million views this year, so give your darn self a pat on the back. Thank y'all so much for all the love y'all showed me. And I got to give back. Yeah, it's time to give y'all some of this energy that y'all been giving me in 2018. So I'm doing a giveaway. And guess what? 
anyone's eligible to win some of this free stuff. All right, it's just that simple. There are no specific groups, no hidden. No, you can get this free stuff too, bruh. I got a PlayStation in my lap. I actually got a couple PlayStations. I got all the games. I got a couple copies of all the games. We got all the hot games. I got some Amazon gift cards to my side. I got a, a TV or two maybe as well to give away. So this is my time to give you guys some love back. Thank y'all so much for y'all for y'all what y'all been showing me all year long. Now, here are the three simple things you gotta do to win this stuff. Alright, you know there gotta be some rules. I just can't give this stuff away. I mean I did pay for it. Number one, you gotta be subscribed to my YouTubes. It's Mr. Telefero and Ferro Reacts. You gotta be subscribed to the sports one as well to be in the running. We gon' fact check. We gon' make sure y'all show us some screenshots of y'all subscriptions, all right? Number two, you gotta be following my Instagram account, Mr. Telefero TV. We got sports, hip hop news every day on that bad boy. Number three, you can't just follow the account. You gotta show some love to my Instagram. Make sure you like five posts. After you do those three things, we gonna randomly pick winners from Instagram, all right? We gonna randomly pick people who didn't like five posts on my Instagram, and we gonna hit you up and be like, yo, send me a screenshot of you subscribed to my YouTubes. Send me a screenshot of you following my Instagram, and we gonna go from there. We gonna pick random winners. I got somebody working on that during this holiday season. But yes, you can win some of this free stuff. I wanna help some of these parents make their Christmas morning special for their kids. Kids, y'all can y'all eligible as well. Y'all can get in the running for this free stuff. Make sure y'all do those three steps, and some of this giveaway season glory will be yours. Christmas just ain't Christmas without the one you love. Happy holidays from yours truly, Mr. Telefero.